Yeah, as some of you may have noticed, I didn't post a video last week, and that's because I was out of the house for like four days straight for New Year's, so I kind of didn't have any internet at all, and that kind of sucked, but oh well. I've been pretty busy. Um, I start back at work tomorrow, which sucks. But what can you do? Because I didn't post a video last week, this video I will be showing you guys my bedroom. Jess mentioned that um, we all probably have rooms that are like super nerdy. Mine actually isn't that bad, apart from the fact that I have a couple of things that would give away my dorkiness. So I will show you that now. Just to clarify, I'm refilming my bedroom because I did it a few hours ago and then I realised that the footage was like fucked up. So take two. Okay, so from the doorway, my room is very messy. There is a chair covered in clothes and there's my dog's bed because she sleeps with me but usually she's on the bed anyway, which is why my quilt's really dirty. And there's my computer where I was doing stuff trying to make a video. So, messy room, and this is my bookshelf, which is covered in stuff, and ooh, pretty necklaces, and this is the owl necklace that I love that I just got, and it's so cute, it's so pretty, just look at it. Anyway, so um, things that give away how nerdy I am, I actually have, aside from this Harry Potter exhibition bag hanging from my scarf rack thing, which is also very pretty, look at that, um, I have a time turner. I know, cool, huh? Now the story behind that is that I actually bought it for a friend's, oh you can see me, I bought it for a friend's 20th birthday but never end up, ended up giving it to her so now it's just in my room. Um, I have a pitiful collection of books, the reason behind that is because my sister pretty much buys everything that I read so I don't need to have my own books, I just use hers, it's great. Um, I also have some very nerdy things in that I have a collection of programs from all the musicals I've seen. So I've got Chicago, I have Mary Poppins, I've got Harry Potter Exhibition Guide, I've got West Side Story, I've got Avenue Q, I have Lady Gaga's Concert Guide, Wicked. Billy Elliot and Mamma Mia. Awesome, huh? So, sore pants, arms really sore. So, um, I'm kind of upset because I have seen more musicals than that, but I haven't got my program from South Pacific or the Rocky Horror Show because that was before I started buying programs for everything. Um, and now on to the rest of the video that I filmed that is fine. This is my bedside table, which is covered in shit and has a glass there, inexplicably. And there's some books from when I was studying things and some paint above it. And this is my wardrobe with, oh, lots of photos. And this is my wardrobe. It's huge. Four mirrors that slide back and forth. And you can see how messy my room is in the reflection. And oh, that's my desk. It's disgusting. Um, I also have a wall door full of drawings and random things that I've done. I haven't added to this in a year or two, probably more. And my sister occasionally comes in and colours some stuff in. So like she coloured in Ginny Weasley on a broom and she coloured in the waitress I drew and she decided that this girl was a mad whore and she coloured in these two guys holding hands. So cute, isn't it? The other thing that's a bit weird is that I have three calendars. So that would be 2011, which is my Paris calendar. Open at May, because I didn't use it past then. Um, then there's my Dirty Dancing 2010 calendar. Oh, isn't he cute? And it's open in October, because that's obviously when I gave up on that one. And oh, it's my Twilight 2009 calendar. 
And look at that douchebag. But look, it's Cam Chicande in the reflection. And he's so cute. I love him. Except when he has a ponytail. So screw you. Love you. Um, so yeah, that's about it for my bedroom. It's kind of big, which I like. But there's nothing really interesting in here. As for things that went on, um, stuff that's been happening with me is I went to the Sydney Festival last night, which is like... They have a bunch of stages around the city for concerts. So first off we went to these really cute little pubs and had some drinks there. And just to set up the story, I had a cocktail, which was tiny and overpriced, so that doesn't count. And I had a cider. So that's not a lot to drink and that's all I had all night. And at 9 o'clock we went to Hyde Park, which is like the biggest park in Sydney. And we went to the concert there, packed with people. And got to about nine and I was like, I'm feeling kind of funny and sick, so I'm going to go home. As I was walking <laughs> out of the park through this throng of people along this metal fence that someone had set up for like a private area, I suddenly got really dizzy and I basically just stacked it, went like head first into the ground. Somehow managed to roll and stop myself, but basically this knee is really grazed. It looks great. Yum. And this knee is so exciting. It looks... Oh, I don't know if I want to show you, but I will, because it's disgusting. Oh, yummy. Now, I wasn't bleeding that much, but I was basically, sorry, I was just walking around the city with this giant bandage on my leg, because the paramedics came along and were like, are you drunk? And I'm like, no, I'm just really, really clumsy. So, they kind of helped me stumble over to the paramedics tent, because I was still feeling really dizzy. Got all patched up, got on the train, went home got home and my family just like, you were a fucking retard. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. So that's my exciting story for the week. The other question for the week was what TV shows I like. Okay, so Torchwood I watch, Big Bang Theory, True Blood, favourite. Um, this is hard. I kind of watch The Tudors. Um, Friends, I love Friends, it's a great show. I kind of put it on for like background noise. Um, I've started watching The Vampire Diaries, I've started watching Secret Circle which wasn't that great but I'll keep watching it. Um, Game of Thrones I wasn't a fan of but I kind of want to know what's going to happen in the next season so I'll keep watching it. And that's all I can think of right now but I'm sure I'll think of something soon and in the next video I post I'll be like oh I've got all of these great shows watch them so um that's about it and looking forward to the video tomorrow so I'll see whoever is posting then because I can't be bothered checking and I'm not used to who's doing what at the moment bye